Professor Davis here, and we're going to talk about computing analysis of variance using the TI graphing calculator. I'll be using the TI-83, but if you have a TI-84, it'll work exactly the same way. So let's do this by example here. How about this? A glass sculpture foundry wants to determine if the genre of music it's played in the foundry impacts productivity. So they have some background music playing. Three types of music, country, rock, and pop, are each played on four randomly selected days. Each day, pro productivity measured by the number of glass vases produced is recorded. All right, so let's take a look at the data here that we're talking about. So notice here, four days country music was played. There was uh, 86 vases made, 80 uh, on, this, on another sample day, 80 on, and 80 on the third sample day, and so forth. And they did that with all three of the genres, four randomly selected days. At a 1% level of significance, Tesla claimed that there is no difference in the mean number of vases produced. Okay, well, before we get to the actual hypothesis test, let's go ahead and enter the data in our calculator here, since we have it right in front of us. So to do that, let me just turn on my machine here, and we want to go to STAT to enter this data, and go to EDIT. Now notice here, I went ahead and entered the data in, um, in list number one for the country, list number two for the rock, and list number three for the pop. Now, let's say you already have some data in here. Let me just, I'll re-enter list three just to show you how to do it. First, let's say we have some data in here from some other calculations we'd want to um, uh, delete. So let me show you how to do that first. I'll hit the stat key, go down here to clear list, that's option four, and I said I wanted to delete list three. So I'll hit, hit the uh, second key, number three, hit enter. Now notice if I hit stat, and edit, list three is now empty. So I'll go ahead and put that data back in. I just wanted to show you that because sometimes you have data in your machine that you're computing with and you're not sure how to get rid of it. And 87 is the last one. Okay, there we go. So let me just go to second and quit and clear the screen there. We'll get back to that in a minute. Let's start our hypothesis test now. All right, so the null hypothesis would would be the claim that all the means are equal. And that is the claim in this case, that there's no difference in the mean number of vases that were produced. All right? So you can write it narratively, all means are equal, or you can write it in mathematical form with the three population parameters that we're talking about, the population means in this case. The alternative hypothesis would be that at least one mean is different than the others. You know, uh, the first is different from the second, the first is different from the third, and so forth. I meant, you know what, I meant to have a three right there. I'm sorry about that. I guess that won't matter. All right, so let's go to the degrees of freedom. We have uh, three samples, take away one, so that's the degrees of freedom of the numerator, the uh, treatment, so to speak. And for the degrees of freedom of the denominator, that's our total uh, uh, sum of all the samples. Let's see, each sample had four, and there were three samples, so that's 12. Take away three, that's the number of groups we have. So nine degrees of freedom in the denominator, some kind, sometimes called the error. And the level of significance alpha is 1%, we said. All right, so to get the p-value, we want to use our calculator. And to do that, we'll enter the data in the three list, press stat, test, and analysis of variance. So let's go ahead and do that now. So that sounds pretty easy, doesn't it? We'll go to stat, go over to test. And in the test menu, you have to scroll all the way to the very bottom. And you'll get analysis of variance down there, A nova. Go ahead and hit enter. Now, we want to enter the three lists in which the data are. So they were in list one, two, and three. So I'll hit the second key, number one, for list one. Hit the comma, that's right above the seven. Second and L2, another comma. And then the second key and number three, for list three, go ahead and close parentheses. And to get the output, I'll just go ahead and hit the enter key. So there we go. So it looks like the p-value, that would be the way we'd want to solve this, is 0 0.006131. All right? And then, in case you want to know, there's also the test statistic, 9.45957. So if you want to use the traditional method, and, you know, and I don't know if you have a 
F distribution table. You probably not. You don't. So uh, you probably more likely use the p-value method here. So let's go ahead and wrap this up and write our conclusion here. So there's our p-value. We compute it with our calculator. Now that value is less than the level of significance. Remember that was 1%. So we reject the null hypothesis. So in other words, the null hypothesis was the claim, and we rejected the null hypothesis. So our conclusion is, there's sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that there is no difference in the mean number of bases produced. So there we go. That's how we can do analysis of variance on the TI graphing calculator.